Let us pray. Our Father, we worship you for this early heaven reminder. Lord, lead us and teach us your word. Let your will be done in our life. Glorify yourself in our life. And Lord, Father, give meaning to us so that at the end, we will be able to live a life that is pleasing unto you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome to this, our Halle Heaven Reminder. We've been studying the book of 4 John, chapter 4, since last year. And months have passed. And it's a weekly program, Wednesday, 6 a.m. Eastern Time. That is Maryland, New York, and D.C. time. Let's go to verse... 19 to 21 today. Oh, we are capping up the chapter today. Praise the Lord. 19, 20, and 21. Let's read together. I know you will open your Bible to 1 John. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for the understanding. 1 John chapter 4, 19 to 20. What's the topic today? The commandment of love without hatred. The command, commandment of love without hatred. 4 John chapter 4, 19 to 21. We love him because he first loved us. Oh, so he initiated and kindled love. And naturally he affected us to love him. So that means we need to appreciate the son who God sent to be propitiation of our sin for the love he had given him so that we can love. And that's why he told us, I love you, you love the brethren. Verse 20. If a man say, I love God, and hated his brother, he's a liar. For he, love, for, for he that loveth not his brother, whom he had seen. How can he love God, whom he had not seen? And this commandment are we from him, that he who loved God, love his brother also. That's a lesson for us. Commandment, the commandment of love without hatred. What love is good? God is love. Love is God. God loved the world. He gave Jesus Christ to actually save us from sin and righteousness. To him that believeth, he saved them and they live a life of God. Godliness brings love, love for the world. And that one being compassion. And that compassion Make us to actually go into the world and bring souls in. Three points we are looking at today. One, contagious love of God by Christ. Number two, contradictory life of the gullible, of the gullible Christian. Number three, command of the lovely God is compassionate. Let's start from point number one. Contagious love of God by Christ. Read verse 19. Let's read together. 4 John 4, 19. We love him because he first loved us. So it's, it's actually we contacted love in God by Christ. Look at John 3, 16. And let's pay attention to that particular John 3, 16. It's very, very, it's very peculiar and important. And it's the, it's the route to living a life in the kingdom. Let's see it together so that you understand what I just said. John, open the Bible. God bless you. Perfect love, liberty. It make the simple to be wise. The ignorance in our life is taken away. And we come to Christ and we know him. Open it to John chapter 3 verse 16. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Not perish, but have everlasting life. So if God loves us, and he sent his son, and we can believe, we will not perish. No hell, no punishment, no penalty. Lord.